Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Yes, lads, you're like, Nate, what is going on? It is another companion app video from Nate, The Foot Accountant, today on the, on the channel because, like I mentioned in yesterday's video, we are away. Mrs. TFA and I are away right now uh, just for the couple days with some stuff going on this weekend. So we're pulling up to the channel today with a normal YouTube video just on the companion app. But I want to take a look at everything that happened over the TOT warm-up series promo, the beginning of it, yesterday with all the packs that were released. Of course, the Oxlade Chamberlain SBC and the objectives, honestly, that are pretty solid W from yesterday. But there's some other bigger news regarding icon swaps. I want to take a look Look at some icon swaps code that was added the card design and the packs are in so i want to take a look at that in today's video i want to take a look at some leaks for content that could be coming very soon including this uh secondary sbc for a road to the final card of mr ramsey from rangers uh as we had oxlade chamberlain yesterday and i just i want to take a look at the market lads i really want to take a look at the market because i know this weekend's really big for a lot of you guys that want to buy items and these cards they're just not dropping even with all the content that we're getting there's just so much pent up demand of people wanting to buy cards that these cards just keep slowly inching upward in price. You know, again, Lucas Paqueta was like 450, 460. And as you can see, these guys, these guys have started to bounce back. So again, it's, it's really in that tough window. I want to talk a lot about that today where yes, cards are still low from where they have been. Um, but some of them have started to rebound back up a bit just because that panic ended kind of earlier and in, in, in that middle time of the week so we're going to kind of address that market situation in today's video as well so i know it's a weird one hang in there with me we'll be back to normal uh really soon but do leave a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new if you're enjoying the videos but let's talk about todd's warm-up series yesterday's content of course we had a lot 86 double upgrade the premier league challenge it's honestly going to be difficult to keep up unless you're on the game every single day it's going to be difficult to keep up with um all of these sbcs uh, that they're going to release. It, it sounds like they're going to be releasing some sort of upgrade pack just about every single day, right? The 83 times 5 e-figs. Now, the question for me with this is, yes, it's an 82 squad. It's not that bad of value. It's pretty craftable. When do you open one of these e-figs packs, right? Exchange a squad for a pack containing, you know, it's top five leagues. So these, honestly, there's going to be so many other packs that will be released. These honestly could be a full send during community tots. If you don't want to hold packs that long, uh, for all the e-figs packs that they drop in this promo, I think that those might be, the play to me might be open those with community tots if you're still going to save packs for like prem tots or whatever. We got the daily login upgrade, which is like a free 81 plus every single day. The Premier League challenge was like, a, this is the type of pack that we want to see for upgrade packs. 12 Premier League players, three rare. Those are the upgrade packs that we want to see during each league of tots but it's nice to get one of those done for cheap and then an 86 plus upgrade. Um, and then we had honestly what I think are pretty big W's. Now I'm gonna struggle to get these done because you guys know me, gameplay objectives are not my grind, but uh, it's in milestones actually. We had two recently added objectives yesterday, Tots Warm-Up Series 1. This one's the one that's an absolute W. Um, you basically have to score in six separate matches in any foot game mode with a squad of 11 players from whatever league of pack you're trying to go for. We have a week to do this. So basically what you can do is you can hop in friendlies with one of your friends. You can each score a goal, play the game out, uh, and then boom, six matches later, well, six times five, so 30 matches later, you're gonna have yourself an 81 times 11, or for league one, uh, 15 times 75 plus. But I think these packs are super grindable and they're a must do, and I would save these for each specific league of tots that does drop. So I'm a big fan of the tots warm-up series one objective, very grindable stuff this week. And then tots warm-up series two, you know, there's some nice packs in here too, but it's not as good. The best one I think is like an 83 attackers times three score four outside the goals using uh, Portuguese players in a live foot friendly one league. So again, tots warm-up series is exactly what we expected it to be, right? After seeing the leaks from yesterday, everything we talked about in last night's video in terms of these packs coming out, uh, is what we saw. Although we did have some, I'm pretty sure we had a campaign bag yesterday. And I kind of, I don't know if that was an SBC that was like re-released or if it was just one that was, uh, yeah, there it is. I don't know why people were saying we got a campaign uh, bag yesterday, but I didn't actually see it. So maybe I just missed that. I don't know. Uh, but there's not really one of there for me. Now we did have the Oxlade Chamberlain SBC yesterday, and I'm going to go to Footbin and check this one out because I think 
Just like, uh, you know, a lot of people are drawing the comparison to that Oxlade Chamberlain Moments SBC we had last year in FIBA 21 that was overpriced. I think this card's a bit overpriced as well. It is a decent card, needed some better stats for sure. It's a plus 10 upgrade, of course, over his regular gold version. But yes, this is live and it's probably only going to be worth it if you're a Liverpool fan or if Liverpool go on to win the Champions League. So that was some of our cons from, from yesterday. Did I miss anything else? Uh, I don't think that I did. No, no Icon SBC yesterday as well. And of course, nothing in packs. So again, like we mentioned, this week is just all about the uh, the SBCs that they're releasing. And as I'm looking at 84 rateds right now on the market, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm a little surprised that these have gone down since yesterday. Uh, I think there were a few packs in the store, or maybe this is just people selling these cards, but these going down, in my opinion, creates a huge opportunity um, and I, I mean, I, I may, maybe I've missed the supply and the reason why these cards have been going down. And I think we did have some lightning, not lightning rounds, but just some promo packs in the store yesterday. But regardless, let's see, promo players packs. There's an 80 to 86 squad builder pack. So maybe some people are going out and do that one. Anyways, seeing 84s at 4,000 coins, I think that this, I mean, just think about all the SBCs that we're going to continue to see, right? This promo is all about SBCs. Uh, that we're going to be getting during Todd's warm-up series to get packs to save up. The last time we saw this, Fodder did very, very well. I think they're going to release some sort of other icon upgrade pack this week as well. I've been shouting that. So with these 83s and 84s going even lower, I think for some of these guys in here, it's, I mean, do a club stock. We didn't club stock these earlier in the week, but I think these look even better now to put some in the club. I put some 88 rated in the club um, at like 25K on, on Thursday, some 89s in at like 31. So I'm happy with those. Um, but yeah, that's especially with this one other thing coming up. Uh, I think that that's a good time to grind right now. I think that fodder market's a pretty good place to look. But the one thing that's coming up that's going to really change things um, and put even more focus on fodder is icon swaps. And we're going to talk about it a little bit preliminarily today on the video um, because I think that this is coming Monday. Boys, I really think this is coming Monday now. We have a card design added to the code. This was leaked by Foot Scoreboard on Twitter. They're, they are not even leaked. It's just the card design has been added. So we now have packs that have been added uh, for Icon Swaps 3, right? The 94 plus moments, 91 plus mid attacker slash mid moments icon, uh, the 25, the 20 times 85 plus, and the uh, 80. 25 times 84 man it's confusing 20 times 85 and then 25 84 plus crazy anyway we've got all those packs that are added and we now have the swap token that to me means that if we, especially if we see more icon swap leaks coming out in the next day like today on saturday tomorrow on sunday if we had the full set of icon swaps set three leaked it could be as early as monday and again i know that seems crazy but also it seems like a W to me because this promo is just all about grinding up and saving up the packs. And if EA is going to give us that opportunity to grind icon swap objectives this week when it's kind of a, a dead quote unquote week, uh, you can't see me right now, but I'm making the, you know, the quote sign with my fingers. Um, that would be a tremendous grind to be able to put in this week in FIFA. So um, I think just keep watching out for that. We'll talk about that a bit more, of course, if those leaks do pan out. So maybe maybe it could be a really easy time too to stock your club with a few silvers uh, or, you know, from some of those secondary or tertiary leagues, maybe you got Liga Portugal, maybe you got Eredivisie, those guys have been used. And when we saw Icon Swaps uh, 2, a lot of the objectives were copy pasted. So, you know, uh, EFL Championship silvers, maybe some of your German silvers, Italy silvers, Dutch, stuff like that. If it's discard, 250 coins, maybe go chuck us some of those into the club. If they were to require those for swaps later on, that could just be a really easy thing to do that could make you some coins or just make your icon swaps grind easier whenever icon swaps three does come out. So that's one thing that we're going to really focus on pretty soon because I think it might be coming. So seeing this car design being added for me that's what does it we had the packs now the car design that might be as soon as monday so we'll keep an eye out for more leaks and information about that that's kind of what all that's going on right now in this game to be honest right i think we do have a leak today um i don't know if this is going to be today on saturday but we do have mr aaron ramsey as a leaked card uh we had oxley chamberlain and ramsey leaked i don't think we have any other leaks right now at the moment this might be a card that we see this weekend a live europa league road to the final version and upgradable based on the performances. Those games are happening again this week. So 
again, potential upgrades on the line. And then, of course, we also had Prem Tots voting yesterday, and I tweeted this out. Uh, and do you see this squad? You're like, Nate, why do you have Kuti Romero in here? Why do you have Bernardo Silva? Why is Cristiano Ronaldo and Hyun Min Sun in this team? You know, this is my team of the season vote uh, purely based off of like FIFA and in-game purposes. And of course, my Spurs bias with Kuti Romero and Hyun Min Sun being in there too. Um, I just think that all these cards would be very fun FIFA cards to play with. You know, maybe I'm looking at it from a meta perspective, but you give Bernardo Silva a skill move and a weak foot upgrade, which I would love to see them do. Give him a Tots card. There was a Tots card for Bernardo Silva in FIFA 19 that was unbelievable. I would love for a return for a Bernardo Silva Tots. I think Ronaldo is going to get in. I think Sonaldo is going to get in as well. And then, of course, you do have some guys that do deserve it, right? Salah, KDB, Cancelo, Allison, 100% in my opinion deserve it statistically but i kind of use the combination of statistically and um just who i would want to use in fifa in my vote so of course you guys can comment about my vote as you've already been doing on twitter down in the comments if you want or share your vote with me on twitter that link down below in the description of course as always as well now let's talk market i know a lot of you guys are wanting to buy cards uh and you know it's just whenever we have a big market crash like this it's really tough to gauge the market because it's hard to know when that panic selling is going to stop. Some of you guys bought earlier in the week and you're like, Nate, I bought, I'm feeling good. Cards are already going up. And some of you guys are like, Nate, I didn't buy yet. Cards are going up. What do I do? Well, here's my take. Of course, cards are still low. If you take a look at their prices in general, right? we're going to use our Lucas Paqueta as our, as, our, as our guide, right? We've been looking at this guy's price for the last honestly, the last like two weeks, he was 811,000 coins. He's dropped all the way down. He was 450. Now he's up to like 490 K, right? Still, I'm not saying you're going to see a lot more panic selling this weekend. If you see that one dip in price, like if this paquette goes back to 460, I don't think you're going to see prices now uh, just with the way the content goes and is going with this warm up series. We might've missed the lowest of the lows. I really thought that EA was going to have to do something crazy this weekend to make stuff drop down even lower. Uh, and, and in reality, um, it's just the panic selling has kind of stopped. So unless there's something big this weekend that would make some of this panic selling um, kind of start again, and I think that would be like an Icon Moments player pick would be probably the biggest catalyst to create some of that panic happening once again. You're probably not going to see the absolute lowest for these prices being this weekend anymore just because there was so much panic selling in the lead up to the to last week. Um, it was just too much, right? It was just literally three three weeks straight of constant panic selling as Dybala goes from 1.3 mil all the way down to 817 and now he's back up to like 860, 870. So here's my take though. You're not completely gone and you're not you know, you're still having a great opportunity to make coins on a lot of these cards um, on a rise back because what's really going to happen and why we're still okay to buy now for a decent amount of these cards on the market is um, think about what's going to happen next week when we start team of the season. You're going to have people that get coins. And that's the biggest part about this is that the market always rises that first weekend after TOTS community and usually during Premier League TOTS as well because you have people opening saved up packs, getting a lot of coins, and they're going out and they're buying teams. So if we get ahead of that curve, even if you didn't buy last weekend in the lowest of the lows, again, like I said, this Royce card, man, like this is a team of the season level card. I don't know if there's anybody from the Bundesliga in the community tots vote that would rival this item. And, you know, a lot of people are hyped about this Royce right now. He was 343 in the panic selling. He's only up 20K. That's a card where I'm like, all right, that's a really solid item. He's not very expensive. So if a TOTS card comes out uh, and it's kind of expensive, then he won't get, you know, demolished in price because there's a new item that's out that's better than him uh, that's around the same price. So I think you can see a guy like this Royce rise up. I think that these foot captains cards are incredibly rare. I think they could do pretty well. And again, even some of the foot birthdays. Now, of course, if you're wanting to buy somebody like a, uh, let's see, who's it? Where's like Sancho, right? Sancho foot birthday, I think has gone up a decent amount. Um, your Ronaldo foot birthday has gone up a decent amount. And, you know, so I, I understand the pain, right? I feel the pain too. There was, there was cards that I wanted to buy. Uh, for investments that I probably should have bought earlier in the week, but I took the gamble of waiting that extra couple days just to see what would happen, and it didn't really pay off. Um, and so we're, we're going to be stuck paying a little bit higher prices on some cards, like Jude Bellingham's 1.13. He was 1.08 in his absolute lowest, right? You can see 108 
uh, and he's actually back down a little bit. But that's how you can buy these cards, right? You Instead of paying 118 and just buying right now for a guy like Drew Bellingham, wait for a bit of a dip, right? You're going to have more content coming out this weekend still, and who knows what's going to happen next week. Really, you have to just get a lot of your buys in before Community Tots is released. Um, and, and that's when the market's really going to start to bounce back. But I want to just give you guys a message to everybody that is watching this that maybe bought some cards, whether early or earlier, or you're going to buy some this weekend still. Don't be stuck on holding these cards for very long because as we've talked about and we're going to continue talking about on the channel, a lot of these guys are not going to maintain their value forever. Yes, these cards are super cracked. Yes, they're very good. Payet's 128, right? He was 110K. GG's on that rise there. Busquets is still 285, working his way up. But, you know, these cards are not going to hold their price forever. They are going to lose value the further that we go on through Team of the Season as more and more insane cards are going to be released as a part of Team of the Season on this game. So just don't be too prepared to, you know, let's say you want to buy a guy like Lucas Paqueta or actually, you know what? We've been looking at team of the year Messi too. Let's go rarity team of the year on Lionel Messi. How much is uh, Messi right now? Is he still like 1. 1. 1.8 mil? 1.799. So he's still chilling around that 1.8 mark. Uh, you have bids at 1.76. Um, you know, a guy like this Messi might bounce up for a week or two or like the foot birthday Paqueta that we were looking at. Um, some of these guys are going to bounce up for a week or two, but then after that, they're probably going to go down in value. That's, that's the trend. So I know that it feels like, man, I didn't get the 100% best buy time on these cards. Uh, but some of these still have re have room to rebound when a card like this Paqueta drops literally 50% in price, you're going to see more of a rebound. He's, he, this guy's probably going to go back closer to 560, 570. I know that a Lucas or not a Lucas, but a Fred Tots card might hurt his item price a little bit. So just be cognizant of that in the next week. But I think there's still room to go for a lot of these cards after people open their packs and as the majority of the market um, rises after the Community Tots time frame. So we're going to continue talking about these cards, but I know that today on Saturday and tomorrow on Sunday are just big days that a lot of people are wanting to buy. So just be that's what I would say. If you see price drops and the, uh, the card that you're still looking at is still pretty low, feel free to pull the trigger, right? Feel, feel free to pull the trigger because there's still a lot of people that are wanting to buy. Um, and, you know, that's going to be some some pent up demand that is out there. And that'll push some cards up later on in this week, in my opinion. So uh, speaking of what I've bought right now, I did trade a few cards. These are all cards that I bought, honestly, during the week. Uh, or you saw me buy them on Thursday on stream. I do have a couple bales at like 270, uh, just because I thought that was pretty low. He's up like 10K. I'll probably keep holding on to those. I did buy, still, or I still hold on to those Busquets. I bought a lot of fodder captain's cards out of packs. I bought a bunch of Jose Fontes at like 47 to 48 K. He's like 53 or 54. So he's having a nice rise. Um, an Icon SBC, I think could take him to 60 K. And I would be very happy with that. Uh, I also still have a few Payets. I bought a few Handanoviches and I think I got one Coleman. Oh yeah, I have this Joe Cole I got at 614 yesterday. And I think he's like 680 or 690. So I'm kind of happy with that. Maybe I'll list this up right now. Let's go 677. I'll take the money on that. That's that's a nice quick flip. But um, yeah, I will take, yeah, 670. We'll take that one. So yeah, boys, uh, that's kind of the market right now for me. I still have a decent amount of coins invested in those fodder out of pack special cards. Um, and, and that's kind of my whole transfer list. I did a bit of a club stock. You see some of those guys there. But uh, especially since I'm not on the market a ton this weekend, personally, uh, with it being a busy weekend, I'm not going to put too many coins into things right now to try to flip and trade just because I can't monitor the market as often as I would like. Ooh, maybe a late night cheeky bid in this Abetti. I might have to keep an eye on that. But, you know, again, like I would say, if there's out of pack special cards that you are very interested in, then don't feel afraid, especially if it's a card uh, like where's Inform Neymar? 811K. All right. Well, you know, he was 900K, went down to 750 and is now back up. But if this guy, what was he yesterday? He was 800K flat. If, if this goes 800K flat or a little bit below again, that's a, that's a thumbs up for me, right? So it's just managing and hedging out some of that risk. Just look out for cards. I think I still really like the Paqueta, man. I'll be honest. Like, look at that drop. Five star, five star. I like the foot birthdays, the ones that haven't risen up as much yet. Especially, I like those the most. Um, Danny Alves, maybe a bit. Firmino's up a little bit. So, 
yeah, we're just going to have to be careful because this is also a brand new year of FIFA with an, a market and, um, you know, team of the year cards were the cheapest they've ever been this year. Tots cards are also going to be the cheapest they've ever been this year. No shot. Okay. I thought that bid went for, uh, 900k. I was about to say, but we're going to have to be very careful with the cards we buy this year, just because the market is so cheap in general, but that's just been how the market has been this year as a whole so again let me know down in the comments what you guys think whether you're looking to buy cards whether you're not i still think even though some cards are up they're still safe to buy um in general especially think about what cards people are going to be buying for their teams once we get to this first weekend and those are the cards that are going to do the best um on a out of packs rise so i know we i want to spend some time talking about that we'll look at more icon swaps related stuff uh tomorrow on the video and probably take a look at fodder once again but I, you know i i still don't understand why fodder is down i mean maybe i'm missing it here but again it's all demand and not a lot of supply right now so maybe get a few of these 84s 83s on bid and it's, if they're releasing daily sbcs to stack up packs um for this promo for you know team of the season then definitely definitely do a club stock that's going to make your life a whole lot easier when they keep releasing packs like this the 83 times five is going to be repeatable again in on sunday one day 14 hours on sunday it's going to be repeatable again so you're going to be able to do these packs multiple times so yeah i would say stock up on that fodder if i was you so again apologies for the scuffed kind of video uh but if you guys did enjoy it make sure to leave a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions of course and uh, ooh, let me get this bid, 1.046. Oh, it went on me, frick. All right, that's a good price for a Betty. Anyways, thanks for watching, lads. Have a good weekend. I'll be back soon. Don't worry, I'm out. Peace.